pictures of me and I can't. And I went to a random like hippie store in the train station and I bought this shirt for five euros. And it was an L and I was like, do you have it in an M? And she was like, no, you're big, like it will fit you. And I was like, oh yeah, that's so bad. And then I just bought it and I'm wearing it now and it's really loose fitting and I don't feel cool. But I was, I'm having it one of those days. Well, you might need to show me the cool shirt that I you took it's off. Not, it's not cool. That's why I took it like off. And I'm about a new but one. what if I disagree with you? It's really lame and it makes me look large like this one. Oh, okay. Well, in any event, you don't have to dig it out just now because I'm recording you. But, uh, but it, I, I'm, I'm missing that because just last night, you're such a character. Just last night, I was tempted to have this conversation oh, with you. Because but, I but, love wearing like nice clothes, especially if somebody's going to like, you know. But then again, happy. when I didn't know if you would be coming directly from work I and from the, from the health, health, health station. I had to, I don't volunteer that you okay that you uh, i thought you were gonna say i'm i'm committed right now and i can't, they let <laughs> me out just for the I'm day i'm actually not a psychiatric nurse i'm a psychiatric patient no, yeah and isn't that ironic and we learned that distinguish what you are from what mia is for me because i still haven't got it clear okay me as a psychologist am i like looking at I'm just gonna- <laughs> Yeah. Me as a psychologist, and I am a nurse who specializes or works in psychiatry. So I can't really call myself a psychiatric nurse because that's like master's degree level. But anyways, okay. So what, the difference between a nurse who works in psychiatry and a psychologist is is that nurses um, deal a lot more directly with medication and with the patient hands on. So just as you would imagine, a nurse who works on the somatic side, so on the side of you know anything with the physical body like okay you break your leg yeah or you yeah your yeah eyes, like yeah or whatever uh the nurse will be with you all the time so yeah. imagine that type of nurse that is in your head okay and the type of nurse that i am is the exact same but just working with mental health okay so i'm with the patient all the time doing everyday things talking about if something something causing you anxiety or depression or whatever like what can we do to get through this like very kind of practically and then a psychologist what mia does is she's master's degree level smarter so you don't have to go into that opinionated sort of so thing, but okay. <laughs> but uh, they do different sort of psychological testing yeah. that can s- kind of tell whether somebody is. Um, you don't have to give me any clinical definitions right I now, because I because I, I, I was gonna I was gonna say testing that nurses can't do. Okay. And I need those psychological tests yeah. to tell the doctor about how my patient is. That makes sense to me. It's fine. I, I just needed to know the distinction between you There's two. A There's a distinction. Like I guess I call yeah. a patient like once yeah. a week. And yeah. I meet my patient every day, 24-7. Okay. Every a particular, day. you've got assigned patients. I have like, well, in my old job, I'm just changing jobs now, but at my old job, I had like seven yeah. of, my, of my own patients. Yeah. yeah. And how many elephants did you have? One. <laughs> One. Vivo. He was the bestest. Yeah. Tell us where you just came from. In this summer, wrap it up in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, in, a summer, in a nutshell, yeah. I was in Chiang Mai, Thailand, in northern Thailand, and I went to work at an elephant camp, so I thought it was an elephant sanctuary, but it wasn't. Um, Difference between a sanctuary and a camp? It's a long story. I'm going to try to say it really fast, okay? Okay. Okay, so I thought it was an elephant sanctuary, but it's not. Okay, so in Thailand, the use of elephants in uh, kind of in work, like on fields and stuff, is called lodging. Okay. Was called? I don't know. Okay, cool. You, but using <laughs> elephants like in like manual work was uh, made illegal like in the 90s. So then there are all these elephants in northern Thailand and they were domesticated so they couldn't survive in the wild. So a lot of them would die because okay. they, they didn't know how to survive in the wild. So then they had to make these camps where the elephants could live, which you would think of as sanctuaries, but they're not because the government doesn't fund them. So they have to open these private camps, which was one I, that I went to. And um, we had 60 elephants in our camp in northern Thailand in the middle of the jungle. 60 or 6? Six? 60. Six zero. Six zero. Right? Okay. Okay. They're chained. Okay. And we also they also did kind of like circus type things where they would have shows every day, which is yeah. something that broke my heart. Yeah. I didn't want that. Um, I wanted them to be like in the most natural environment that they could, but because the government doesn't fund them, yeah. it's funded by tourism. So okay. That's the only way that it survives. Okay. It's a very long explanation. No, I wasn't meaning to cut you off, but okay. but but to moving forward from yeah. that, and then you t- came back to the European continent. Yeah. And what'd you do then? Um, well, and this is all since we met. This which is all was since we met. <laughs> back I in what, May? Woman. Was that May? It was in May. 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 We so were in I literally like a week after I met you. Yeah. I went to Thailand. Yeah. 
uh, for two and a half weeks. Came back to Finland. I went up to Central Finland for Midsummer Festival with my family. Okay. Oh, family. We got one of those. <laughs> got one of those. I'm not, an, I'm not a lonely person. I was trying to make a joke out of that one. No, no, yeah, but I was just saying the elephants and all that sounds like you're just a independent spirit. Oh, I don't have you know. like children or a husband. No, 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 I understand that, yeah. but you go, okay, family, central, Finland, yeah. okay, go. So I have a grandparents and an aunt and uncle and cousins yeah. and my mom and her, her boyfriend. So we went up to central Finland, yeah. we went swimming, and we went to the sauna, we had fun. Yeah. And then I came back to Helsinki, and then I flew out like two days after that to Amsterdam, and I started my three. Okay. So we hit seven yeah. countries in three weeks. Yeah. And and we. We is my best friend and cousin Natalie Nietzsche. Hey Natalie, I love you. <laughs> and and my other best friend Yanina Yonatan. Hey Yanina, I love you too. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah okay. Is now. Us three. Interestingly enough, now now that we have that uh, one summer. That sounds like what takes most people two or three years to accomplish. You did it in one summer. Yeah. And in addition to me knowing you as a um, person who shares your poetry, yeah. tell me you have another artistic outlet, and what's that? I do. I play music. Um, my band is called The Birds of Passage. Check it out. And don't forget the article, The, because if you don't have The in it, it's going to be some uh, band from New Zealand. So... Bur the, birds the Birds of, of Passage. passage. Okay. On Spotify, on YouTube, yeah. Facebook, whatever. And yeah. we, have an, uh, we have one album uh, we made in 2012, and it's from my past relationship. That I don't have to get into that. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Um, you, can, you can say that for a poem. I'm sure that there's some relationship <laughs> issues. <laughs> but now we're friends, and we're uh, continuing. Making you you in the band, or you in this former relationship of friends? Well, because he's in the band, so it's just me and him. Oh, so it's just okay. me and Patrick, yeah, uh, my ex, who's not my friend, and we both play guitar, we both sing, and the first album is a lot more acoustic-y, folky, jazzy, and now we're gonna pump it up with more sounds. We're adding drums and bass into the music. Pump it up. This next <laughs> album that we're gonna work on this fall. So I have that yeah. as another outlet that I have. Yeah. And then I I dance, I do theater. Yeah. Um, and I'm an all-around weirdo. Okay. Well, um, thank you for coming. How and long is this? <laughs> huh? this is long. How no, long? no, that's just not long already. We're gonna we're gonna stop now so that it won't be like Too me long. trying to upload Tibu's uh, interview, which is extremely long. Okay, Sorry, Tibu. Uh, you've been, you, 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 I didn't let you get too winded. Okay, all right. So we're gonna take some photos, and tonight you're gonna share uh, here at um, uh, Poetry Nights. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's really good to have you. Um, so good. We'll get yeah. to it. 